Good afternoon, I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Thursday, the 10th of October. The Finance Minister vows the government books will be brought into order. Fresh Treasury documents on Crown's accounts show its deficits grown $3.4 billion in the year to June to $12.9 billion. Spending is outpacing income, despite revenue increasing by $14 billion, mostly from an increase in tax on incomes and GST. Debts up $20 billion. Nicola Willis says the books can't be allowed to keep degrading as they have in recent years. When we make tough choices, it's not out of any ideological sense. It's out of a sense of responsibility to New Zealanders. The Defence Minister says most fuel spilled from the sunken Manawanui is being washed away. The Kiwi Navy ship hit a Samoan reef and sank over the weekend. Judith Collins says it appears little to no fuels washed up on the beach or nearby reefs. Maritime New Zealand modelling estimates that only 10% of this is likely to remain longer than 24 hours. And Collins is calling out armchair admirals fixating on the gender of the ship's captain. I am New Zealand's first female defence minister. The army has its first female chief of army, Major General Rose King. Manawanui's captain, Commander Yvonne Gray, is female. We are all appointed on merit, not gender. Hurricane Milton continues to batter Florida, although wind speeds have reduced to 170 kilometres an hour in its centre, making it a Category 2 storm. More than 1.6 million homes and businesses have lost power. St Petersburg has had more than 400 millimetres of rain. CNN's Bill Weir is there. We are sheltering here and said, did you notice the crane is blown around? That's another one of those construction trains. This thing has moved almost 180 degrees from where it was pointed when the storm began. 116 New Zealanders are registered in Florida. Chris Luxon will have his first face-to-face with his counterpart from India overnight. The Prime Minister's in Laos for the East Asia Summit and has secured several bilateral meetings, including with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Luxon says he wants to build a relationship with India. and This follows previous dealings he's had alongside the trade and foreign ministers. He says he'd like a delegation to go there next year. It's going to be the third largest economy in the world by 2030 and we want to be able to make sure that we've got a broadening and a deepening of that relationship that will help us both in a security sense but also in an economic sense. Dave Latelli says government funding wasn't enough to save his South Auckland food bank. It's been supplying up to a 1,000 families a week, but will wind down to Christmas, then close. Latelli says they were moving more than half a million dollars worth of food, but only got $87,000 government money. That's nothing. When You, you know, some food parcels we're giving out, two, three hundred dollars of value. We're not talking like milk and bread here. We're talking a proper parcel that's enough to feed a family for a week. To sport, Kiwi Rugby League halfback Jerome Hughes has been ruled out of the upcoming Pacific Championships due to a neck injury. He's replaced by the retired Sean Johnson. New Wellington Phoenix signing Stefan Kolakowski admits he's not at peak fitness ahead of the looming A-League season due to training alone as he waited for a shift to Europe that never eventuated. Former Supercars driver Greg Murphy is dampening expectations of a second straight Kiwi triumph at the Bathurst 1000, believing Shane Van Gisbergen's absence takes out a world-class contender. I'm Raylene Ramsey and that is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.